Hello everybody, my name is Ekaterina Kornishina and now I'm going to tell you what is my warm-up routine, what I'm doing to prepare myself before lesson, what I'm doing when I'm not really ready to play concert, or what I'm doing uh, if I over-practice the day before. <laughs> Uh, usually I don't play exercises which are written for flute players by very uh, famous and great, the greatest flute players over all the world uh, because I just like to invent my own exercises. It's not that I'm a great inventor, it's just I'm trying to warm up my brain as well because uh, it's also very important, you know, to feel what is happening with your body before you start to play anything, whatever you play. And uh, for me, it's a big challenge to kind of find a way what to do, to depends on the situation, what I can warm up or to the opposite, or to relax it. Because as we know, our brain is also a muscle, as any muscle in our body. There are two things I usually do before I play, uh, before masterclass or lesson, if I don't have enough time. Depends on what happens with your dips. Uh, and uh, for example, if I ever practiced the day before, I was stressed or whatever may happen with this. <laughs> Uh, of course, I need to relax my lips because they were for sure over tensed. So the easy, easy exercise, I think everybody knows it, uh, which I guess should use all wind players because it's super useful and it helps really, really, really. So you just do this. Basically, we I call it little horse exercise or a big horse, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> If you do this exercise for, I don't know, one minute or two minutes in a row, you will really feel relaxed. But be careful because you have to feel relaxed, not tense. And uh, as we, a lot of people have problem with jaw, especially flute players. I don't know the rest of the wind players, but flute players for sure. Um, you, can, you may also relax these muscles with uh, uh, one exercise, which I almost never do, but if it starts to to be super tense, you just do this. You're like a monk, monk painting or an owl, I don't know. You really have to f to pull, pull everything down to feel that here muscles are going here, like relax, relax, relax. And after you do this, <laughs> feeling your nose, everything is shaking. So if you if you feel like you want to sneeze, it means that uh, you do great. <laughs> if the opposite situation happened and you didn't practice enough, as usually it happens with me, uh, there is one very nice thing to do before you play or you, you have like five minutes, I don't know, before lesson or you have a concert and you feel that your lips are just too relaxed. Uh, one thing you can do is the opposite of this horse uh, exercise is as we were kids we were doing this we were playing this kids with each other with with this <laughs> as we were kids we were playing this game with each other <laughs> so basically what you do you you really close, you take a lot of air, of course, inside. You really close your lips and you let it go just, just here. <laughs> when you do it for one minute non-stop or two minutes non-stop, you really start to feel blood pressure here. So if you try after to play flute, you will feel like a queen or cane. It will be very easy to play. I mean, this is my little secret for warming up. But 
to really warm up because this is like a trick more you know it because your lips can tell you which sayonara in in a uh, few times you do that in a row it, it i mean this this exercise is not that you have to use it every time because it's very special trick and it's dangerous trick because you can destroy your lips with this as a russian student in my past i'm playing just scales all the time this is like my blood my all my teachers were telling me this like an army every day you play 30 minute scales of course i don't do 30 minutes but what i'm doing of course we have to play legato staccato different uh, articulation once super super loud it doesn't matter if the beautiful sound doesn't happen or not they don't sound or whatever happens you don't stop you play very very loud from beginning to the end you really have to feel that you put all your power in this scale that this is the last time you play this scale so but this is just to, to begin the second time you play, you play three times in a row without stops, very in tempo, with the breathing as much as you can to really feel exhausted after, afterwards, yeah. usually one three and at the end I do five times with like really like I'm I'm Schwarzenegger on the flute so next time you do the same super loud but you do it with vibrato <laughs> You can use different kind of, kinds of vibrato and um, you can play once, you can play three times, you can play five times, you can play ten times. The thing is that you really have to feel exhausted at the end and basically it should be like on the third scale you feel already exhausted so if you really can it would be nice if you do two or three scales more to be in this exhausted feeling. Because this is how our muscles improve, right? Because usually what we do is we just play like da 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 And you didn't even get tired. My lips are now, they are like, you know, pulsating and I feel them and I feel that they warm up. If I would be a beatboxer, I think I could do it better like this. <laughs> they are even like super red now another thing i would advise is to play all the same concept but doing piano <laughs> I got tired at the end. <laughs> As a third exercise uh, for my warming up routine, I basically do the same thing. I just play super loud the piece I'm going to play this day. 
and uh, for example if it's a Mozart concerto first movement I will play it once after three times and after five times in a row very loud with vibrato so to, to really warm up my lips as, uh, as I did it before. In general my warm-up routine is uh, very basic and I I don't put so much intellectual effort in it, I just really warm up my muscles. I hope you had a great time with me watching this video and uh, have a great practicing, great warming ups and uh, have a great day. A lot of kisses, ciao!